glory be to the triune god in the old testament new testament and in the history of the church whenever there is crisis feeling of guilt conviction of sin people turn to god in fasting and repentance and call for a lent the purpose of lent is to exhort god's people towards repentance and renewal thereby inviting them to live in the experience of salvation in the old testament prophets and kings and in the new testament our blessed lord before beginning of his public ministry observed fasting or lent to defeat satan saint matthew chapter 4 verse 2 St Mark chapter 1 verse 13 St Luke chapter 4 verse 2 Lord Jesus not only fasted but appreciated true fasting and condemned false fasting in his teaching In the Mahatma Syrian Church according to the lectionary approved by the honorable episcopal synod and based on the constitution there are five lent or fasting they are as follows first 25 days lent december 1 first to 25th second three days lent or fast of nineve 21 days before the great lent that date is movable third great lent or 50 days lent that is 18 days after the 3 days lent that's also date is movable fourth fast of the apostles or sliha norm that's june 16th to 29th meditating the faith and witness of the apostles fifth 15 days lent that is from august 1st to 15th meditating the faith obedience and surrender of mary here we are looking only to the christological lent which is related to the life and work of our lord jesus christ 25 days lent that is december 1st to 25th the incarnation of our blessed lord is considered as the salvific event and observing these days in prayer and meditation is known as 25 days lent the liturgical year begins in the end of the last sunday in october or the first sunday of november with the festivals of sanctification of the church and renewal of the church respectively this is the period of receiving the incarnated lord into our lives in the western tradition this time is known as advent season the faithful members of the church cleanse and renew themselves in, in order to receive the lord to their lives with fasting and prayers the fast which lasts for 25 days ends with the feast of the birth of our lord or christmas on 25th december the great lent or 50 days lent the believers meditate on the public ministry passion death on the cross burial and the resurrection of our lord on the third day and identify with this salvific event through fasting and prayer this lent is a time of preparing the faithful to live out in the experience of salvation by observing repentance reconciliation renunciation and renewal 21 days before the beginning of the great lent the church observes the three days lent known as the fast of nineve by remembering the repentance and thereby the redemption of jona and the people of nineve lent is a time of looking unto jesus and to his cross it's a time of keeping ourselves away from sin observing fasting abstinence and praying is not an end in itself it should be helpful to the cleansing and renewal of our body mind and spirit isaiah chapter 58 verse 6 and 7 says is not this kind of fasting i have chosen 
to loose the chains of injustice and unite the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke. He is not to share your food with the hungry and provide the poor wanderer with shelter when you see the naked to clothe them and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood. May the Lord enable us to observe the Lent which pleases God and make it a blessing to us and to others. God bless us all.